Okay, so I'm going to do a little um, experimentation with Screencastify and see how it works and see how easy it is to download and see what some of the upside and downside might be. So I'm going to go up. I have Googled Screencastify extension, but if you also just Google Screencastify, you should get the result. Um, it's known as a Chrome extension download. Um, so if it's been enabled so that you can add it to your Chrome um, navigation so that you can use it to record screenshots. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add to Chrome. Here I'm on the Chrome Web Store homepage. Just I always confirm that it's the version I want, screencastify.com, and overview support related. And I'm going to go hit Add to Chrome. It's going to tell me to add the extension. And it's checking, and now it's telling me up here in the top right, Screencastify Video Recorder has been added to Chrome. Use its extension by clicking on the icon or pressing Alt-Shift-S. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the icon. It's bringing me into this page where it asks me to sign in and do setup. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google. I think I have a cookies issue. Um, let me change and fix this. I'm going to go to Chrome, Menu, Settings, Advanced, Content, Click Cookies, Block, Turn Off, Block Third Party Cookies. So I'm going to go to Settings. It was a Privacy, Advanced, Content Under Privacy, Content Settings. There's that. So I need to turn that off. Cookies and site data. Um, block third-party cookies. So it was under um, site settings, cookies and data, under more, under privacy and security. So now when I go back, I've got to sign in with Google. Oh, I didn't like that again. I'm just going to refresh. And let's see if it's made it. So there it goes ahead and work. I'm going to use my work Gmail account. Hit next. Preloaded my password. And I'm enabling Screencastify to access my Google account. Make sure you trust Screencastify. It's okay to allow that. So it gives some suggestions here. I get stuck when signing into my account. Um, it wants to make sure that under Content City, you click to turn off the third-party cookies. And they give you a little example here um, to see how that's done, just like I did. So I'm going to X out, X out. And now I'm on step one, Screencastify setup. Unlock all features, please enable the following permissions, camera and microphone, drawing and annotation tools. I'm going to have to allow that. And now I'm officially started. So just if you have any of those issues, I think um, we just saw one of the, you know, couple of steps that you need to kind of get started. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and click up here in my icon to get started. And what it tells me is that um, it's recognizing my microphone, but if I need to change the microphone, it tells me which one's available. I'm going to go with my default. Um, if I want to use my webcam, I could do that as well. If I want to record just a browser tab, that's an option. Um, the desktop or just the webcam. So if you want to do just your webcam, desktop, I'm going to stick with just desktop. That's what I typically do anyways. Um, I'm also noticing the five minute limit per video. So the upgrade for unlimited recording and editing um, 
if you, you know, we're only going to stick with the five minutes. So um, we'll go with that for now. So I'm going to hit record. And what it then asked me is, does it record my entire screen or my application window? So um, I'm actually going to change the view of my screen real quick. And, and I'll go to this kind of Google background. And I will, I'm going to click Screencastify again. Um, let me X and then hit this because I want to actually screen record um, this screen. I don't want to record the welcome to Screencastify screen. So I'm going to get that tab off. Um, I'm going to click this tab off just so I, I know what I'm working with, which can be important when you're doing a video. So here, now I'm going to go to dialog window. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record. It's going to ask me for my entire screen or an application window. So if I had multiple windows open, so I'll open another window and I go here and I go here and I select application window, I should have two options, but I don't see two options. So I'm, oh, that's a new tab. I'm just going to go entire screen. So I, that's my kind of how I do it. Entire screen captures everything on the screen. Um, and I'm going to hit share. So that's and I click on it. And when I click on it, it turns blue and I hit share. So it's giving me a little countdown. Um, it's now started. As you can see, it's up recording. Um, it's recording the screen. I'm going to do a sample. Um, uh, I'm going to go to the North Reading of the Extended Learning website, North Reading Public Schools. Let's see if that shows up. So under North Reading Public Schools will show up. And if you notice, it had a little highlight. Um, this is the home page. I'm going to go to schools. I'll go to the middle school. Or I know we have the extended learning page posted. And here I'm on the middle school resources. Um, this is the home page. Maybe I want to show students through a specific page, talk about the content on the page, share some of the work on this website, um, and talk to them and give them a little overview. The same can be done with a presentation. Um, you do only have five minutes, um, so you know you might want to take some time and just plan out what you're going to say. Um, I'm going to now end the video. And it's telling me what my desktop's being recorded. I'm going to go ahead. I could pause it. I could restart or I could trash it. I'm going to hit stop. And now I'm on the video page. So it's let's go through the quick, simple tour. I'm going to do show me around. Um, I could trim the clip. I could change the title. I could copy and send the drive link to Google Drive. And right now it's sharing to Drive. Um, I could share the video to Classroom, publish to YouTube, get an embed code. I could download or export the video. I could make movie magic in the editor. And I'm ready to create and share amazing videos. So I'm going to hit close. Um, I just want to go over here and revisit. I'm going to go up and change my title, sample screencast i am now going to, oh, there's my voice i paused it um i can open an editor i'm going to show you that here i can copy a shareable link um and that would be something maybe if i wanted to put in another window and now this is the drive link of my sample screencast um, in google drive I'm going to go back to the video details. I could share it to Google Classroom, publish to YouTube, get an embed code, which is essentially putting it on a website. Um, 
I can download it. I always like to download. Always make sure I have my own copy. Sample screencast. Um, looks like it doesn't give me a file that I really am super pumped around, but um, I have to look into that a little bit more. Export as MP4. That's probably the preference I would do, um, and I would I would stick with the 30 frame rate if I did do an export. Um, and that's so that I could host it somewhere else, or I could post it as a video file, or upload it to my own Google Drive. And also, if you just want the audio, you can go ahead and do that, or just do an animated GIF. So an animated GIF is like if you have something really short, it turns the video into a series of pictures. Okay, so um, that's my you know quick overview of the interface. I'll just open up the editor tools real quick, um, see what that looks like. Um, it's a pro version. It looks three day trial. So I would avoid it. Um, I don't like to get into something that is a trial and I'm going to lose the features of because um, probably be able to edit it pretty well just with trimming within the regular editor um, or just reshoot it if it's a really short video. If it's not a ton, I, um, I would just reshoot it. I want to X that out. Um, and if you notice here, um, cut. I can cut. So I could bring the video back to a minute and a half. Um, and then what I want to do is I'm going to hit save trim. And then it says trimming will remove, and I'll say trim. And now it's going to cut my video down. So if you need to trim the video, but you're going to, you know, if you've already saved it or exported it, um, you're going to want to do it again to get that version. So looks like a great tool to do some quick video and sharing um, either with your webcam or with um, your you know in the Chrome browser your screen um, and it looks like it has some great sharing tools so just keep in mind for us it's a five minute tool uh, we don't have the pro version um, but it looks like for quick sharing and usage it could be really powerful